They're always looking for their next piece, searching online or in person at auctions. One Shippensburg man's collection of international harvester memorabilia is so large it will be sold in a series of six auctions. Evan Popalis joining us now live from Lancaster County with more. Evan. Valerie, Alicia, collecting was a big part of Jeff Showaker's life. After learning from his father, he grew a passion for agricultural and construction equipment manufacturer, International Harvester. It's just amazing that one person did all this. Jeff Showaker's passion wasn't hard to nail down. He loved International Harvester. We met 20 some years ago in a dealership and we just instantly clicked and been friends ever since. Jeff and Kevin Lechner went to auctions together. At 45, at a bit five, at a bit five, 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 again, 45,000 dollars, at a bit Bringing home loads of equipment, toys, memorabilia, you name it. Jeff had his own business. He was known as the leader of tractor restoration. He had an excellent business mind. So a $15,000 tractor turned into a $50,000 tractor. What he, when he did it, he did, he, he it was the best, the best you could get. Manufacturing roofs that weren't a part of the original tractor and more. Jeff passed away in December after battling illness on and off for about eight years. He knew it was his time after his final restoration was complete, his 1066. He asked me to take him for a ride in his ashes to McDonald's in Shippensburg. A four mile trip. And get three cheeseburgers. For his dogs. And three milkshakes. And what they were for is when we would go to visit him in the hospital for the last five years, probably, we'd always get a milkshake. To be together and not have to think about treatment. But Jeff left behind a massive collection. This is huge. Set to be auctioned off over the course of 2024. Around 4,200 lots will be sold in a series of six auctions. Sold it, $60,000 right there. I, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of what he did. I'm proud of everything that he, that he collected. And the first auction will be on March 9th at the Newville Fairground, selling toys and memorabilia. The tractors will be on auction later on here in 2024. For more information, you can head to our website, abc27.com. But for now, reporting live in Lancaster County, Evan Mapalis, ABC 27 News.